Okay, we will now discuss a different kind of word problems, one that involves people's ages. And those are kind of a, a typical type of problem, um, but uh, unique in the way you want to approach those, especially when they talk about the relationship in age in the past or in the future. Like in this case, we have a man who is 20 years older than his son. I'm assuming that's today. And then it says that five years ago, he was four times as old as his son. What are their ages now? So a very typical problem. So how do you approach one of those? Again, just like most problems, you're going to let x equal something. And in this case, we're going to let x equal the youngest of the people involved. In this case, there's two people, a father and a son. And so let x equal the age of the son today. Be very specific that it wasn't in the future, in the past, but today. So, how old is his dad today? Relative to his son, and his dad is uh, 21 years older than his son, so x plus 21 equals the age of the father. Now we need a constraint. We need some sort of equation, some sort of relationship, constraint, that allows us to solve this problem. And here it says that uh, five years ago he was four times as old as his son five years ago. So we can't use the definition of what the ages are today. We need to transform that into the ages five years from now. Oh, in this case, five years ago. So five years ago, how would we express their ages? Well, they were five years younger five years ago. So if x is the age of the sun today, then x minus five is the age of the sun five years ago. And for the father, x plus 21 is his current age, so x plus 21 minus 5 is the age 5 years ago. So for the son, say for the son's age, that would be equal to x minus 5, and for the dad's age, x plus 21 minus 5, or x plus 16. So those are the ages five years ago. And now we're ready to use a constraint, oh, there we go, the constraint, to solve the problem. All right. It says that five years ago, he was four times as old as his son. So the dad, or dad's age, is equal to, so we'll put the brackets around that, uh, four times the son's age. And again, remember, this was five years ago, so we might want to write that there, five years ago, so we don't forget. Dad's age is four times the son's age. All right, so what was the dad's age five years ago? We come over here, dad's age was x plus 16, so we replace dad's, dad's age by x plus 16. And the son's age five years ago was x minus 5, so that would be four times x minus 5. And now we have replaced the English sentence that was performed into a, an equation, into a linear equation with the variable x, and now we can go ahead and solve that equation uh, like we normally do. First thing, we want to get rid of parentheses, so we have x plus 16 equals 4x minus 20. Remember, we distribute the 4 over both terms inside the parentheses. Now we move all the variables to one side, all the numbers to the other side. So moving the 4x over here and the 16 that way. And remember, when we cross the equal sign, we want to change the sign. So we have x minus 4x equals minus 20 minus 16. Combine like terms on both sides of the equation. So minus 3x equals minus 36. Divide both sides by negative 3. And we get x equal Oh, negative 3, both sides. So we get a positive 12. Now, what does that x represent? So here again, you see the value of really well-defined your variables. x is the current age of the sun. So x equals 12, that means today the sun is 12 years old. And the father, today, who's 21 years older than the sun, so x plus 21 x plus 21 is equal to 12 plus 21, which is 33. So the dad's age, that is 33 years old. 
And just to make sure that we did everything correctly, let's go back and see that uh, today a man should be 21 years older than his son. So 21 is uh, 33 is 21 older than 12. And five years ago, he was four times as old as his son. So five years ago, the son was 12 minus 5 or 7 years old. And the dad was 33 minus 5, which is 28 years old. And sure enough, 28 is 4 times 7. So we checked, and those are the correct answers.